What's up everybody? We're gonna go over how to set up paper trading and trading view with futures. You can do some future trading on trading view, but it's a new platform for a lot of us and we don't want to just jump right in and lose money. So I'm gonna show you how to set up paper trading on trading view so you can get comfortable using it. Welcome to TradingView. If you haven't seen it before, which I'm pretty sure you have, this is what it's going to look like when you first open it up and start to get going. I'm going to have a link down below first off so you can get a discount code to sign up. You will have to pay for this uh, to get even for paper trading for futures, uh, but trust me, it's well worth it. If you don't even use it for futures, for just simple journaling and doing drawings and studying, it's a huge tool and a huge asset for you. But we're here to talk about paper trading futures. So first off, just generally your layout, you're going to have all your time frames. And of course, you can adjust this and make it customized. This is just what I have set up right now. Uh, this is just the spy chart. And you can see simple candles, change your colors, do whatever you want. Uh, and I have volume below your time frames. Um, and basically, down below is where you're going to want to start. So down below you have your trading panel, which is right here. And that trading panel is where you're going to be able to access your paper trading. Navigate down here on the bottom and you click on trading. You're going to see different options and different platforms you can pick from. The first one is paper trading and that's what we're going to click on. But you do have other options too, TradingStation, uh, Forex.com if you're into Forex. Uh, Webull is a new one that is also a platform. I have a link down below for that so you can get some uh, free stocks. Uh, if, you wanna, if you haven't used it before, it's a huge tool for stocks and even options trading. Tradeovate is going to be the most important one for trading futures. I'm going to have the link down below so you can get your discount and give it a try. I don't suggest using the platform that it comes with, but a lot of folks do use it and they're used to it. They don't want to uh, switch platforms. If you don't want to switch platforms, uh, you can definitely stick with that. But I highly recommend using TradingView with Tradeovate. Again, the link below for that. It does work together and they work together well. So a few others here. You, when you get the program, you can take a look at it. but. We're gonna go right into paper trading. It's gonna say, hey, you're gonna set something up. We're gonna set up paper trading. No reason to be scared. It is just paper, not real money, so you're good. And you'll go right into your paper trading. So right off the bat, you're gonna see paper trading. I have a little test account set up here and drop down. You can create different ones. So if maybe you wanna use one for just one ticker, or if you want to use it for a certain amount of money or even a strategy, uh, you can create multiple types of accounts. So I, just for this video, I created Tester where you're obviously using the USD. And then down below, it's going to break down what you're pretty much familiar with already with any broker, uh, positions, orders, history, account history, uh, if you're doing journaling, that sort of thing, because uh, this platform is very good for that. Uh, but we're just starting with the uh, tester. If you click the little gear here for your settings, you can also set up commission types. So if you're using, if you know you're going to use Tradeovate in the future, you can see what the commissions are. Uh, I think they're like a quarter or something like that, 20 cents. I'm not 100% sure uh, off the top of my head. You can include it, put the number here, good to go. You can also reset the account. Now, when you reset your paper account, you can put in your dollar amount. So if you're new to futures or new to trading, you want you know you're not starting with $100,000, you can put 100 bucks, you can put 5,000 bucks, 10,000 bucks, whatever you would like. So we're just gonna leave it uh, to 100,000. I'm gonna hit reset, it looks exactly like we started. And then from here, you're just basically going to click on trade. When you click on trade is when you now get this window here, which a lot of us might be familiar with for the ladder. Uh, they might, you might see that in uh, different uh, other brokers that you're comfortable with. And it basically just breaks down your price and then your buy and sell as far as the location for that. I'm just going to bring this down here so we can see what's going on. And I'm going to select a future. So keep in mind, 
when you're trading futures in TradingView, you will have to upgrade, I believe it's five bucks onto your account. You add that on and then you will be, get some live data for your futures, limited to certain ones like ES, uh, the S&P 500 mini micro and uh, a couple others, um, but your paper trading. So if you have your strategy, you're working on a strategy, it doesn't really matter at this point in time. So we're just gonna go ahead and hop into ES right there and go ahead and hop into our mini there and this is es i'm gonna bring this down just a little bit right here so we have our chart up simply like it was before i don't, i'm not putting any indicators or anything on here just this is just for your video to show you how to use this so immediately we're in paper trade we're in the e-mini for uh es here and then we have our ladder. Now there's two ways you can trade. Yeah, you can trade with the ladder by simply clicking on what you want to trade and then go from there. So for example, right now I'm at one contract. Uh, we're gonna leave it at one con for now, just for the simple video. And you just click this here. You can bring up uh, your window. You can customize a lot of this, but I just, for the sake of the video, I want to show you. So your price, your, your tickers, how many units, again, you can change it here. Uh, and then if you wanna do a uh, take profit or loss, you can set that as well. So just for the sake of the video, I wanna show you a couple other added little tips and tricks. So I'm gonna leave those two unchecked and I'll click sell. So we're shorting this guy here and I'm gonna drop this here, and bring this up right here. So. Again, we're paper trading, so it doesn't really matter. We're just so, you know, we're already down 12 bucks. We're, we're in big trouble here. Your position, you can see a stop loss and a take profit. So you go over your stop loss, since we're uh, shorting this, you're gonna go here and hit modify. That's our position there, or excuse me, our stop loss and our take profit here. I'm just throwing them up there so you can see. Now from here, I mean, you can adjust at any point in time where you want to start taking profit, uh, or if you want to move your stop loss. It's very easy to maneuver and see this, so if you're working within a, a trend or anything like that, it's easy to adjust on the fly, or if you know you're going to get out at a certain point that's coming up and you've changed your mind on a, on a take profit position, you can go ahead and move that on the fly. Now, on the other side here, you still have your other options. Since you have this position open, you can easily get out by hitting flatten, and close position and we're out. Uh, now down below, you'll see in your history, the position and everything that we took. So as we pull it up here, we had our, our market, our take profit, stop loss, breaks down the price, what got canceled, what got filled and, and so forth. So let's go ahead and try a different uh, different take or, or way to do this and it also does display where you got in and out as well so you can you can easily do your notes or journaling or anything from that now up here also you have your another button for order and that's the other window that we saw previously so if you're not familiar with the ladder or you're getting used to it uh, you can also just do your simple trades here and right now we're on a buy and then you can easily come in here and do your take uh, take profit and, and loss here and set it. So immediately it's on here. You'll see this and you'll be able to uh, move everything where you want. And it looks like we did a limit. So we are in the position. You can see it automatically added our stop loss and our take profit. So if we were to hit this point here, it would be up $937. If we so hit our stop loss, we would be down 487. If you hover over, it gives your percentages as well. Um, but this is very easy tool to use and very easy to follow as far as it goes for TradingView to get familiar with this platform. Uh, it's an extremely powerful tool to use and you can see easily your tick ups, ticks down. Uh, if you really wanted to go deep down into the chart, you can even get down to the one minute and see your position and get in and out from there as well. So very easy platform to use. Again, great for journaling and doing drawings and notes as well. 
uh, but I wanted to just go over paper trading because this is a new platform uh, for a lot of us. We may not be used to something like this, something that has such a, a nice uh, interface, uh, especially if you've been trading futures on like Tradeovate, for example. It's very boxy, kind of uh, old school feel to it, even though it's a very powerful tool. This is something that's really kind of changing the game and a lot of